All right, right everybody, everybody ready to begin the adventure? Yeah. Yeah. Isengard, yeah. which is the name of the village. Mathematical. Algebraic. No, it's really not. But the math? But is everybody ready? Yes. Yep. I believe All so. Right. The camera's rolling. The film is uh, being fed into the camera. We got what all is, of our... Uh, uh, for the past three minutes, yes. yes. What, We've what got is all this? our oh, no. ready. What is this uh, segregation all of a sudden? <laughs> this looks at home. Right. Cut it. So... All right. So... We're going to start this. We've already been rolling for three minutes. You never tell me. Jesus, man. Give <laughs> okay, me say, a clear say right as I go. Hey, I, I give you time to set up. That's how you yeah, get the good intros. Don't. Don't don't hit record until it's, I say it was to the, do it. It was the cold open. You can play the opening uh, opening theme now. Exactly. Opening theme. Da, da, da. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. War, war never changes. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Dude, make sure you put in the animation for that. That poor baby. Yeah, and so uh, moving to another part of the world where war isn't being waged, because you know, fucking Godzilla showed up last session. Because we haven't rolled um, initiative yet. We. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Godzilla showed up last session. Wait. Godzilla showed up this session. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Enough, of, enough of that. We had enough of that the first time around. Anyway. Uh, enough so, of it. Enough of this. Anyway, so what the hell? Whoever made that. Where okay. Are you going? <laughs> Thank you. Get, get rid of that circle. Thank you. Thank you. It's gone now. All right. So, everybody, welcome. <laughs> welcome welcome back to America's Funniest Home Videos. Welcome to Earth Edition. We probably have a good show tonight. Night, not tonight. We got a real special case for you. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Last time, uh, Godzilla appeared. Yeah. Uh-huh. From the ocean. Yeah, it destroyed, uh, it pretty much wrecked <laughs> Bryn, and uh, yeah, it was pretty much all in shambles, where uh, everybody, after doing their best to try and put out the citywide fire... I did a good uh, job. Yeah, I did a good job! Wait, I really helped good. with the fire? Yeah, but uh, not good enough because, uh, well, no one expected the giant lizard beast. Inquisition. I contributed not at all, and it turned out yeah. no different. So, thinking quickly, Robin and Master Tarragon slash Master Balthazar had everyone go to an extraction point to use their mirror transportation. And they did. Along the way, they, uh, they met up with a few key, uh, key items, I mean, key NPCs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, little, 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 little Timmy, little, little Jimmy, little Timmy. Little, little Timmy, the, uh, the young British newsy. newsy boy selling his newspaper who had odd premonition paper, which is what I'm calling it now, uh, which was essentially a regular newspaper, but it had the future on it. Sometimes the present, but it could hold the future. Uh, and they also met up with, uh, Guinness, who, it was a very Irish meeting. Irish, Scottish, both, fish, <laughs> eating. What are those things? <clears throat> yeah, one of those, or maybe a mix of the two. Uh, whereupon they kept going uh, towards the extraction point, going through a neighborhood that seemed a bit run down. Whereupon they finally got to it. It was a bit of a, a bit of a, an upward climb, where uh, where they were at, they could overlook the most of the city, and. Uh, as Master Tarragon came back with Ali and uh, Toby, 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 in a potted plant now, um, they, he, they began to set up the mirror for transportation, teleportation. Uh, sorry for any noise in the background. Um, so after they got the mirror ready and everybody started jumping in, 
Uh, Godzilla kind of, I mean, the giant lizard creature, <laughs> giant lizard creature that spotted them. <laughs> the the lawyer-friendly lizard. The lawyer-friendly laser started charging up his laser beam. And now I gotta get there. I'm gonna get the good. Uh-huh. Beatboxing skills. I'm sorry. I had to practice. I got the feeling of the rhythm in me. Um, after after he took notice, started charging up his laser and uh, shot it out. Music in you. Shot it out towards him, towards the group. Sorry, right before they tra- or right after they teleported. So the way back was kind of destroyed. However, everyone made it through safely. They made it to the outskirts of the town of Tobo, a more industrial setting, even more industrial than the setting that was already supposed to be industrial. A lot more machinery, a lot more pipes, a lot more smog and smoke. Hell of a lot of blacksmiths. Probably find oh, where's the nature? Where's the what? The nature. There's no outside. green. There's no green in this city. It's outside. You have to go outside. So far. No, get out. We're kicking you out, Glenn. Oh. This is your intervention. Get out. Anyway, um, so after that, um, Master Balthazar decided to send word to the council that uh, of the current situation in Bryn, and now there's more than likely a giant monster spreading chaos and destruction around the, by the way, the map was, you guys were on the west coast, now you're on the east coast, if you, no one remembers. But uh, yeah, you went from opposite ends of the country. East side? <laughs> yeah, west side, I mean east side. Uh, after that, it uh, appeared that no one really knew what to do, where uh, upon not Arya, uh, down, decided to head to the bar, where everyone who joined her found out that it was pretty much, you know, human, humans, more humans, and a couple of humans. And a dwarf. And a dwarf. Yeah, but mostly Yeah. Uh, after, after a little bit of talking with the bartender, uh, down heard that she could get work from a mysterious uh, black-robed stranger, in the corner, and Down just kind of accepted a mission to go hunt some wolves without the rest of her team's consent. But no one was really complaining because the pay was pretty good. So, you know, after that, they went to a a nearby hotel where uh, they... The hotel that Master Tarragon, Robin, and uh, the other... Wait, I think it was only Micaiah that didn't go with you guys. Yeah. All right, so where Micaiah, Robin, and Master Balthazar had found, they uh, they eventually met up and then went back. So you guys went to sleep that night. And uh, it's now the next morning is where we'll pick up. Or, well, be- before we went to sleep, I used my last spell slot to cast Goodberry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah feed you paid it to Micaiah. Did she need it? Did you overdose her? No, no, <laughs> no! Micaiah just fell asleep. I think I think the good berry did something to her. No, I haven't no. given them to anybody. <laughs> they're medicinal good berries. I think they're, she might have slipped one, thinking they were good. something else. <laughs> they're not no. that kind of good berries. No, no, we're not going with the the Elder Scrolls version of. Why she's not here. We're going with my version. All right? <laughs> so no poisoning anyone, no overdosing. No. None of that. All right? So it's tomorrow in the morning. You all wake up in this hotel, an actual hotel, not a, you know, not an inn, an actual legitimate hotel. Ooh. Did, are there yeah. mints on the pillows? Yes, there were mints on the pillows when you went there at night. You probably oh, moved them out of the way so that you could sleep. You probably moved them out of the way so that you could use the pillow. That's what I was saying. Before you interrupted, I was saying you more than likely either ate them or moved them out of the way so that you could use the pillow as a pillow and not, you know, a mint rest. A mint rest. And so, so you all wake up 
feeling a little more refreshed than you did last night. You know, it was pretty hectic. There was adrenaline pumping, you know. But uh, you guys, you guys feel a lot better now. So yeah, you wake up. It, the room accommodates all of you. It's a really big hotel room. One of the uh, one of the higher up floors, like maybe the fifth or sixth floor, something like that. Fifth and a half. Where, yeah, the fifth and a half floor. You guys are actually in the vents right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the room was big enough to hold enough beds for all of you. Luxury guys. Ah, all of ten. you being you five. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, Robin and also um, Allie. So you five, Robin and Allie, so that's seven. Wait, and then wait, wait, the, the, room, the room adjacent, <laughs> let me finish. The room adjacent to you has, houses Guinness, his wife, his two kids, and Master Tarragon. Also Toby. Toby! So, uh, uh, what about little Timmy? Oh, it's little Timmy's also in there. Thank you for reminding me. The Lord knows what would happen if we forgot about little Timmy. <laughs> oh shit! I just realized I don't have a token for him. Oh no! Oh no! Security we, need, cow. we need to bring to- we need to bring little Timmy with us. He will be my he's familiar. The, he, yeah, I was, was, was about to say. <laughs> he's he's our he's Sky's animal companion. Oh no! Old Timmy, Timmy, little Timmy, little Timmy, little Timmy. Oh my God! That's what's waiting for a bad to go. You look, you look different. I, I comb my hair. Put your put your news cap back on. You look better with the hat. There you go. I put my hat back on. That's that's. Oh, look. That's, a little, that's that's a little bit better. Little bit. That'll do. All right. So you guys wake up, and now you're in your room, along with Robin and Allie in other beds. You know, you you were each in your own bed. You each got a, a little uh, bedside drawer, a little lamp with it. You know, your your pillow mint, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how you guys wake up. I didn't eat my mint. I put it in my inventory. <laughs> this will be important someday. This action will have consequences. <laughs> Arya only realized that she had a mint when she woke up. <laughs> <laughs> and it was smished to the side of her face. <laughs> that'll, that'll take her mint. And this guy probably ate her mint last night. I will take them in now, though, and uh, keep it because she's not hungry yet. I it, it's not meant to stave off hunger. It's not meant to. <laughs> she's a monk. <laughs> she's a monk. That's no excuse for bad breath. So. So. So, you guys are supposed to head off on that quest that guy gave you. I was just uh, about to say something about that. Yeah. I was about to say something, too. And then the DM interrupts us. It's as if oh. karma no, just happened. No, no, talking. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ. It's like he doesn't you know, want us to RP. You know what, you yes. know what we should do? Please. You know what we should do? We should just stores. not RP. <laughs> yeah. Down flies out the window. <laughs> Down, where are you going? Now, talk to each other in character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I was literally opening my mouth and you started yelling at us. Exactly. <laughs> we really have to do this, don't we? Do what? The job that down over to down. For us. Huh? Sorry, what was that? Sorry, what was that? Down, a look back. At least you got us some work. 
Dude, if you don't want to do this, you can just stay here. No, no. Oh no, who's that? You know Perfect. what I'm sour about. That'll be little Timmy, just keep going. He's our squire. <laughs> does this room have a shower? Yeah, it does. It's actually got two. Uh, Glenn makes use of one of them because she probably still smells like smoke from the day before. Dallin doesn't want to occupy one, so she casts Pressive Visitation! What? What a fun spell. Sky shrugs because as soon as they step outside the building, they're just going to smell like smoke again. Not fire Fire smoke, smoke. though. Yeah, sure. Arya Arya was in the middle of a fire. She wants to get in that shower. So get, she said there was two showers, right? Oh, there were two showers. She's getting in. There, there are two showers, one on each side of the room. Down feels kind of gross, but she's felt grosser. <laughs> Her bath time. <laughs> Press the digitation is fine. Yeah, uh, when you're in the room. Uh, yes. Also for an hour. <laughs> an hour. Uh, yes, take an hour long bird bath. <laughs> we need to get uh, out of there. Yeah, let's do that. Down so, uh gathers her things. So where were the wolves again? Werewolves? Again? Oh, oh no. Uh no, not werewolves. They're wolves. <laughs> <laughs> no. This guy rolls her eyes. Why wolves? Who <laughs> <Cool> wolves? <laughs> <Sky. laughs> That's a classic. <laughs> yeah. Everyone asks werewolves and why wolves, but not how wolves. Or when wolves. The time traveling ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, was the location? That we were supposed to be going uh, pointed out he on a map. He gave down a map, yeah, and a map. he showed her by encircling it in a red circle that it is a town, not a town, a village nearby that uh, it was smaller, well, not exactly a village, like not tents and huts, but it's like a small, small, like a small city that's beginning to grow. He circled it on her map. It seems to be about maybe about a, like using the legend and the uh, quote unquote measurements on said legend because who knows how far that how accurate that is uh it looks like it'll take about a day to get there as the crow flies <laughs> oh wait we have sky uh, uh, we pick her up uh how much does sky weigh uh heavy, heavy. two <laughs> of us pick us uh, fat, two of us pick her, her. rude uh, hey, I'm making a joke. It's an Ice Age reference for the kitties. <laughs> for all the kitties I, out there who watch us. I, I really hope there aren't. <laughs> and, uh... Well, once you uh, add her gear, she's she breaches 500 pounds. Oh, joy. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> uh, Down is gonna reply with a... Oh, just a place a bit outside of town. And she's gonna kind of pull out the map. <laughs> Glenn is still in the shower. Arya is already done. Because she's a monk. No, because she's just faster. Because she's a monk. She's faster. Yeah, because you're a monk. You have a higher base speed. (laughs) I didn't think of that. (laughs) These things are not mutually exclusive. (laughs) So we point out the location and we and we go. Yep. Uh, we leave the room, uh, yeah. bidding goodbye to whoever else was in there with us. Yeah, we'll Allie we'll let the others know that we're leaving. Allie and Robin were the uh, others in there with you. All right. Yep. Yeah. We, we let them know that we'll be back in a couple of days, probably, or a few days. All right.
Before she, Arya reads, uh, yeah, before Arya leaves, uh, she looks into a book she pulls out, uh, closes it, and puts it away. And then walks out the door. Hmm. Sorry, uh, say that again, my phone rang. is wrong number, but... Yeah. Nope, so, it, what was Arya doing? Flavor stuff. Uh, Arya pulled out a book, uh, looked at it for a moment, and put it back away. Oh, okay. As <laughs> Micaiah sees this and remembers that it's the Bible that she couldn't understand. I don't, I don't Let's know. Let's fly to the castle. Let's fly to the castle. Anyway. So, you guys are exiting the room, right? Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, so. Down to the sea, Arya do things with the book. Kind of give her like a bit of a sideways glance, just sort of curiously, but keep on moving. All right. So as you guys are exiting the room, when you open the door, you see that outside, uh, Sky especially, um, you when you exit the door, um, you see a small British child walk up next to you. Uh, appearing in cleaner clothes than uh, before. Does he have uh, his hat on? Yes, he does have his hat on. Uh, he's uh, he appears to be a lot, you know, more freshened up. Yeah, he, uh, he says that he you hear an excited little squeal as this little human goes to hug the, your side. Does he? That's it. You just hear e before extra like, extra. <laughs> and that starts to speak in common <laughs> because he, he was speaking in British. Oh, ah, <laughs> that's that common. Yeah, it's, it's a different language. language. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys, uh, British is another language and not, not, not related to common. Oh, <laughs> ah. my campaign. I'm mm. kidding, I'm kidding. He goes, Why are you kidding? I miss, oh. I missed you. I missed you when you were away, Miss Sky. I got your newspaper in the house. He hands you a newspaper. One of his own. Oh, um, thank you, boy. What a small, oh, thank you, going, small child. You're going with the God of War route, really? Boy. Boy. <laughs> now, she, boy. I thought of that after I said it, but now she's just trying to remember his name. <laughs> that he he gives a tiny salute with his tiny hand, and he goes, "Ma'am, little Timmy, mom." He said, "Ma'am, yeah. not mom, mom, but like you know, British. It sounds like mom, mom, mom." See, in in British, in quotation marks, it's mom and mum, so it's still different. Yes. Yeah. Mom. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Is that while well, my accent, in my quote unquote accent. I was saying mom, as in ma'am, but when I was saying it, I realized it sounded like, you know, mom, mom, you know, like as, as how they say it in common. No, no we, <laughs> we understood yeah. you the first time. This guy is totally yeah. little Timmy's mom. Anyway. This is canon. Yeah, also, he's, he's, uh, he's like a bird. He's imprinted on her. <laughs> little Timmy has adopted you. <laughs> One of the only non-birds here. Uh so the newspaper he has me, is it like of his own creation, like written by hand? No, it's like a legit newspaper that you would find if, you know, you bought one, but he said he made it himself. It's really an hour. I made this newspaper out of paper mache. You <laughs> see, just to have a, a movable type printer in his bag of holding? No, because yours is. <laughs> no, no, he's he's using a waffle thing from Horse and Hunters. He has a he has a he has a hat of holding. Uh, I see. He, didn't he has like, everything he needs in his I, cap that he wears. I told you the hat is important. <laughs> but wait, you're saying he didn't like draw it out himself and like color in the pictures and everything? No, no, no. Of That's course not. That would take too much ink and too much oh, time. Man. He just pulls it out of his hat and it's just got latest gossip and news on it. That's I mean, literally how it works. <laughs> He did do that, but it still looks like it was printed. Yeah, it still looks like a regular newspaper, like, you know, made on paper, like the squares and the columns, words and all that. Like, that's just how his handwriting you know, like, looks. Go to a, like page A4 to continue the story. It looks just like that, except he made it out of thin air. 
from his ad. But anyway, yeah, he he uh, he pulls out a paper, just hands it to you, and he's like, "I got you a newspaper, made it myself." Sir, and anything relevant that she would want to look at, or you just wanted to do a newspaper bit. <laughs> A uh, newspaper bit, but you know, if you wanted to take a look at the stories, uh, uh, I'm not stopping you. You can do whatever you want with the paper. You can throw it away. You can eat it. <laughs> he, he gives it to you lovingly and you just toss it over oh. your shoulder. <laughs> I'll, I'll In other words, a side question. It read it. <laughs> I'll, I'll read it while we're walking to the next place. All right, it's so you make time. you guys make your way out of town, and little Timmy appears to be following you, specifically Sky, like falling in line right behind her. Sky, not, not on her back, but he's just you know following you. Are you guys going to whisper to Sky? Is this a good idea? I don't know. I don't know why he's following me. Keeping him around. If you look back at little Timmy, he's just kind of like looking up at Sky and just with this most sincere smile a child can muster. And, and she has been glancing back at him like over the course of the beginning of the trip, trying to figure him out. All right. So the few of the stories that you see while you're walking uh, include... You know, the local weather, you see that section, obviously. You see that the local sports ball team has uh, not been doing so hot. The uh, Tobo Toblerones have been losing to <laughs> the Quar Quakers. What a shame. Yeah, in a, in a surprising 7-3 to three match. I don't know if those are actual baseball numbers, but those are the ones I'm using. Those, those are baseball numbers, yeah. yeah. Doesn't okay, matter if they're good. baseball numbers; they're sports ball numbers. That's what's important. Oh, yeah. oh sports ball, yeah, sports. It's the stick ball game. There we go. That's what I called it. I forgot. Sorry. So the stick ball numbers are, uh, yeah, the uh, Tobo Toblerones are taking a massive beating from uh, the Quar Quakers. So uh, yeah, so you learn that there's a city named Quar. Obviously, uh, you see that the stick ball numbers are. Pretty bad for Tobo, not, not a very good sports team. Sports yeah, she always sports. knew the Quakers would have their day. Yeah. Uh, you read on and you see another article of uh, a nearby mine that's been uh, opened up that's, uh, that's looking for uh, some workers to help clear out some of the, uh, some of the wildlife in there, you know, some, maybe some adventures, good pay. Uh, it doesn't specify, but it just says good pay and, uh, Resources uh, also given to you. Uh, they say that if you find anything, it'll depend on you know what it is, but they might let you keep some some of the stuff that you find in there. She points this article out to the others. All right. A mining job. Uh, a job in a mine. Mining, yeah, probably. You can, Sky, remember, you can also point out that it said just to help clear out the wildlife in there. And that's, that's, yeah, that's what I'm emphasizing. No, we're not mining. We're clearing it out so that other people can mine it. Okay, okay, that's another story. Yeah, so put, a pin, put a pin in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, she continues. Yeah, continues reading or continues... Uh, Reading. Reading? Okay. So, we find out another story that along the coast there appears to be uh, more waste washing up on the shores and that people could use volunteers to uh, help clean that stuff up. Things like, you know, trash, aluminum cans, you know, I mean, uh, <clears throat> not that, I mean, uh, Dota Dola Soda. Soda. <laughs> Dota Dola, there we go. It's, that's my favorite brand. <laughs> exactly. You know, like Dota Dola cans, snackers, bar wrappers, um, you know, cinnamon danishes, like actual cinnamon danishes for some reason. Stale. Because cans. nobody eats those. They just toss them out. <laughs> uh, yeah, but essentially you hear another job that's like, that like not a, not necessarily a job but like volunteer thing that you could help out you know clean up the shores. Uh -huh. um, yeah, another story of uh, of act actually 
you remember this particular story. You hear another story about <clears throat> the uh, the dreaded the pirate Long Johnny Silver. Oh. Hear that he's actually been sighted up north now, uh, towards the uh, the top of the country. Seems he's been on a bit more of a rampage. He's uh, he's actually helped burn down a city with some odd helpers. He goes into detail that. A few of the helpers seemed more shadowy, like all black. Like they're all like, in terms of car, murdered out. It's all like all black clothing. You know, they make that a point because, you know, usually the pirates of Long Johnny Silver's crew, you know, they just look like pirates. But now they, they, they're, it almost seems like they're trying to conceal their identities with whatever they're wearing. You know, headbands, masks, those... Uh, uh, Mysterious. Those, yeah, neckerchief that you put up to you, like your mouth, like and nose, like to cover yourself up, or mm-hmm. cover your chin up and all that. It appears that they are they're more trying to hide themselves. And she point points this article out to the others as well, just as a matter of interest. Glenn takes notes. Uh, isn't that? Oh. Uh, Arya looks really, really frustrated right now. I I find right because she right. wants to go fight pirates and she can't. Uh, she wants. It's, it's it's the one person that she couldn't eliminate the first time, and she wants to eliminate him now, and she missed her chance. <laughs> All right, so after I have those... I feeling we might cross paths again in the future. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These sorts of things don't just uh, go away. Especially in an RPG. You'd, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Glenn says out loud. <laughs> this, this uh, is the, I think this is the second session in a row where we have broken the fourth wall. It's not a game, Glenn. Don't be ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> silly Glenn. It's uh, not like people. I, I didn't say it was a game. Or... RPG stands for uh, rock for real... grenade. Uh, uh, yeah. Do we have? Uh, does this? Are there any shops here that sell RPGs? Robotic I mean, pirate. You could uh, look for one while you're walking, but <laughs> you know you'd actually have to go out away from you know you guys already leaving the town. I think he's asking about the setting in general. Do they exist? And oh, are they viable? Um, <laughs> they do now. Does, does D&D exist? It. I'll <laughs> think about it. Anyway, <laughs> you continue to read on more stories, but it looks like those are the only ones that really, you know, had really yeah. big articles made about them. Everything else just seems to be like, you know, the politics, the council, you know, agreed to this, blah, 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 pass this law, kind of stuff. Mm, fun. She, she, yeah. Back with the pirates, though, Sky just muses aloud that she wonders why they would bother hiding their identities unless there's, like, like new members that don't want to be known to be pirates for whatever reason. Voltron Force! Uh, yeah. Something to think about. Hmm. Now, you can't have the drones. They turn into a little Voltron robot. <laughs> They're awesome. So, Can't have so little little Timmy pipes up with, uh, "Where are we heading, Mom?" I'm not your mom. Get away from me! It takes guy a moment to realize that he's talking to her. Uh, she she looks it down. What's the name of the place we're going? Uh, down checks the map. So the wolf, the the, the, and Arya intentionally coughs. <laughs> so the, the the name of uh, the name of this small town, I guess it'd be a town like that's the middle, not exactly as built as a city, but not exactly tent. So yeah, we'll call it a small town. So uh, the name of the town appears to be uh, uh, Bella, just Bella. Hmm. Then uh, she looks up and says, Bella. We're going to Bella. Oh, I remember that. 
that place? My mom used to take me there a couple times for vacation. And it must have been quite a trip. No, it was actually awful. I got dysentery halfway through. It was uh, kind of excreting my own guts. <laughs> Both ways. Both ways. It was awful. But in so, the end, I had ice cream. It wasn't that bad. It's got so a should... really good ice cream shop. Oh, Wait, well, ice cream? At, at least you got ice cream. And also survived. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. What are you going there to do, Mom? I can't really think of why you'd want ice cream. So you must be doing something else. I mean, I'll probably get ice cream while we're there. Now that I know that it's there. But, uh... Uh... We're going to take care of an animal problem they've got. What kind of animal problem? I remember there were squirrels. I remember there were birds. I remember there were bees. I got stung by a bee right in my bum. Get <laughs> that's, hurt. That's unfortunate. Arya looks your beak at the squirrels part. <laughs> well, let's get going. We gotta take care of that problem, right? We gotta. He he starts to do take up a little bit of a boxing stance and just kind of punches the air in front of. We gotta get take care of the plastic rabbits. Wait, he said animal. What are we? What are we doing again? Oh, just some wolves. We'll take care of those pesky wolves. And then he, you know, throws a couple punches and forward. <laughs> this way, guys, follow me. And he runs off. Follow yeah, no, me. We're... And then a wolf comes up and just picks him up by the scruff of his neck. Ah, no. You killed Timmy. I'm not dead yet. I just got picked up. No. Nope. I'm pretty sure he's dead with that here. I have to leave him behind. It looks pretty deadly. <laughs> gets bit, I'm not dead yet. Dies. I'm just eviscerated. I'm just getting eaten by a face hugger. No, that's but not, that's not how face huggers work. You're as good no, as dead. No. <laughs> whatever, whatever. He he just kind of goes like, "Let's get going, yeah, yeah, adventure." Just playing yeah. the castle. Yeah, I'm totally not gonna die because the DM dictated it. Yeah, I mean what? He's oh, tired no. of playing the character already. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, moving on, after you read the paper for a while and interacted for a little bit, you you make it outside the city relatively, you know, quick, and you make your way towards uh, the road that uh, that has a sign on it, and it points, you know, left go into this, right go into that. And it's got some more signs on the left that say, uh, you know, different cities, you know, different uh, miles. We'll just use miles. So it's like this city, something like 10 miles, and then this city, blah, 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 miles. So you see that uh, Bella is actually about uh, about 100 some miles out, it's like 130-ish. I don't really know how long it would take to walk that in a day, so I'll just say 130. More than one. Yeah, so 130 miles ish i don't know just some a, a length of miles that will take you more than a day to walk that's a lot more than one day okay a hundred i'll cut <laughs> down to 100 miles <laughs> i thought it's, you were gonna say like 20. okay fine 50 <laughs> miles 50. i'll cut it down to 50 but no less i won't cut you a better deal <laughs> oh, 30 minutes down <laughs> three days to go uh, whatever. 50 miles, it'll take you a, like roughly a day to get there. Whatever. This is fantasy. Just roll we, with it. We walk fast. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> All right. So it says like roughly 50 miles to get there. And so you begin your trek down this path. Little Timmy, while you guys are walking along this uh, stone uh, stone path, uh, stone is in like it's dirt, but it's like it's got stones in it to make it seem like almost like a road. It's like just a bunch of rocks like set in the ground so that it resembles a road. Not um, good for wagons. Guys, yeah, not really. While you guys are walking, uh, little Timmy looks up at Sky and says, uh, uh, "Mom, would would you mind if I rode on your back again?" It was very comforting. 
I find it very, very comforting. It's you're very soft. And he's got tiny little legs. He's got tiny little legs, so he'll, he, you gotta you you gotta carry him, or else you know the weak will die out. They'll kill the herd. <laughs> herd. I mean, oh. she she looks at him for a moment and shrugs and says, "That's fine. Hop on." And she she kneels down for him. And he just kind of like does a back, does not, not back <laughs> does a back flip. <laughs> he, he does a front flip, and he just kind of lands on you. Doop. Wow, such dexterity! Yeah, let's go. He must have a high acrobatic skill. Yeah, he's totally got really good dexterity, and I totally rolled for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so you guys make your way down this path for. Maybe about an hour or two before you eventually get to a little bit of a clearing. There, don't, there doesn't seem to be many trees or anything around, and uh, actually I'll move you to the next map. So everybody hold on. Ah, ah, everybody hold on to something. Hold on to your butts! Uh, hold, on to my, hold on to your own butt, not, not somebody else's. It's too late. <laughs> ah. All right, so I uh, just kind of dropped your tokens wherever. So if you want to rearrange yourself, I'm lost. Do though. so, but yeah, but uh, yeah. So little Timmy is gonna be on top of the sky. Just I don't want to put it over your actual icon, but like, just just imagine it as being representative of little Timmy's on your back. Timmy. All right, so uh, down, you're kind of. Mesh together. Oh my god, you're making the yin yang symbol. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> I just realized oh my that. God. My god. There's been a lot of anyway. shenanigans. I know. Anyway. I know talking about. So, um, so you guys can give yourselves health or whatever. You know, I don't really care, but um, let's see. Beautiful. Soul thing. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. Don't question that. Um, I'm right. questioning so, it. What's that? Don't question it. All right. So. What is that? What, what is are those? What are those? Anyway. So, hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't, don't get too, too far ahead. Um, so, Glenn, get back here. What do those numbers mean? Glenn! Glenn, I swear to God, I'll smack you. Encounter roll. What are you talking about? All right, so, so... That doesn't make sense. So, you guys continue making your way down this stone pathway. Whereupon, like I said, you got to a clearing, not many trees. Um, however, one. you can see that there is one big tree up ahead as the path continues onward. You can even see that there are more trees uh, further up ahead, uh, but those are in quite a while. So for now, uh, for now, move your characters, move your tokens um, as, as much or as little forward as you want. <laughs> Just God, down where you're going. Damn it. Let Down's in the tree. <laughs> Glad get over here. Forward, not to the side. Yeah, forward. I was just checking out what all that pinging was about. Anyway, so as move as much or as little as you want, and I will tell you when something happens. Uh, when? Uh, Timmy fell off. Yeah. Oh no, Timmy! He doesn't have the mounted com combatant feet. No, he does not. But uh, yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, I didn't say stop. Oh wait, I go All back right, from Micaiah. Stop, stop, stop. Micaiah, Micaiah, come on. Stop. Down where are you going? <laughs> All right, I pick everyone, up, I pick stop. Up everyone, stop, 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 people. <laughs> I said stop. Down. He means stop. Back. All right. So oh, down. Man. You 
decided to fly up to this tree, right? Uh, because, of yeah. course, moving your icon over there, you thought that you know, that was a good idea. You thought so you, you could get away with it. Just kind of, no, just try to perk yourself on a uh, perch yourself on the branch. Maybe get all right, all right, all right. So actually, I'm gonna need to move you a little bit back. Down likes to be up. All right. High. All right. So <laughs> as you were going here, you tried to get a good perch on the tree. You see that yes, there are indeed very many branches that you could perch on. You know, you were looking for a nice relaxing, you know, perch time. I don't know. You're a bird. I have no idea what birds do. Anyway. Don't judge so, us. Yeah. Yeah. So while while you were not don't move, don't move. No. Glenn, get back there. So while you were up there, you uh you came across something in the tree. You couldn't quite make it out from your perch. However, it decided to make itself known for you. Oh no. Oh no. So this giant paw pad uh, comes out and lashes at you. So I'm gonna need you guys to roll initiative. So yeah, I'm gonna need initiative. There's, so down you can clearly see that there's a giant tree and then there's also a giant lion in it. <laughs> it's one of those tree lions. It's, it's one of them tree lions, just like the tree lions. Lion. Is this a normal <laughs> thing in Earth, or should this surprise her? I mean, would a lion surprise star? We are we are her. in a natural environment. A tree. How how high in the tree is this lion? <laughs> yeah, this is important. Is it just like sitting at the top? It was sitting inside of the tree in its leaves and branches. Wait, do you have like, advantage on your initiative stars? Yes. Oh, yeah, I do too. I forgot about that. I'm a ranger and we are the ranger. Outside. First one was better. I thought oh. I lost my uh, little notebook, but I'm glad I didn't because I was getting really, really scared. You would have had to make everything up on the spot. No, no, I just wouldn't have. I would have to constantly be checking back on uh, the initiatives, or you guys would have to keep hold of them. But hold well, on, I just remember. I have an initiative. There's an initiative thing, thing yeah. on here. Hey, fuck. <laughs> hold on, let me see. Where do you. Is, is the clock the initiative? Yes, it is. Just add our tokens yeah. too. We can add them ourselves. You guys are already in there. No, we're not. Nice. No, we're not. You say that. Oh. oh. We don't believe you. No, it's because... <laughs> Nothing it's... is in oh, there. Can you guys not see that? Mm -hmm. Can you guys well, we not see that? No. We can see the window. Yep, the window. I see, there. like, you guys is from last... You'll see oh. the recording. There's nothing there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm seeing last time's initiative. You know, when you guys were fighting the lion, the tiger, and the bear? That's yeah. the initiative I'm seeing. Hold on, let me see. Yep, no, those don't show up for us. Did Glenn show up? I just changed his number. Nope. No, no one is showing oh. up. You need to add the tokens. All right, well, oh, fuck. Now it right. says so I today. just cleared it out, so now i got to re-edge it. Hold on. All right, there's down. Yeah, actually, put uh, put your own initiatives in there while I add everyone. Uh, how does one do this? Uh, you can just oh, go just and edit on the zero. Yeah, click the click the number, and you can add it in. All right, and I guess I'll roll for Micaiah, so I got to go look at his sheet. Wow, guys, you're also nameless. Not me though. Oh, then we can't see each other's names. Minus N. Also can't see each other's health bars. Yay. Aw, 
Wait, what's its dex? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I want to go before it. No, you can't. Anyway. <laughs> so, this thing actually gets a surprise round, and um, it'll take its turn attacking down with two claws. Two claws. Okie doke. All right. So, first one. Please, I'm doing a secret. I'll put my arm right, So, does the 16 hit you? Uh, yes. All right. She doesn't have her shield now. I think a 16 hits any of us. Not to me. Oh. <laughs> Wait, crap, I forgot. I didn't write down its attack in this notebook. I wrote it down in the other notebook. Give me a minute. I need to find my notes. Quick, down. Run away while you have the chance. <laughs> well, it's distracted. Yeah, it can't get an attack of opportunity on you. Aha! You did it. Also, the lion looks kind of funky, squished down to a single tile. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, since I was flying to the tree, do I count as flying right now, Zero? No, uh, you said you were perching on it. You're on a branch. Oh, right yeah, that's fair. Flying. Yeah, so, okay, found it. Also, you get hurt for six damage. Oh, no, that. All right, so now here comes its second attack. Do you have Hellish Rebuke? Uh, I don't. Ah, uh, that's a shame. All right, that's a 13. Is a 13 nope. good? No, nope. okay, that's so... Nice. All right, so it just, as you were coming in closer to inspect this weird thing in the shadowy tree, it lunges out at you and attacks you with both the right and the left claw. Like, roaring all the same. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. So, yeah, just a static lion. All right, and now it's the regular turn order. So, Arya, everyone really, uh, sees down, fly up towards this tree, perch, and then for some reason, a freaking lion was up there. Also, the, the, the tree is um, 15 foot tall uh, total, but wow, to where the lion is, it's about 10 feet up. So oh, perfect. getting right next to it, you can't attack it. You need to actually climb up. 30. But yeah. Okay. I can, I can fly up there. Uh, yeah, Arya, your turn. Time to have fun with new things. All right. Uh, Arya's going to draw the rapier, fly forward and into its face, and she's not going to use the rapier to attack it. Instead, instead, she's going to uh, punch it once, and she's going to use Flurry of Blows after that. So that would be a total right. of three punches. Punch it right. snoop. Make me three attack rolls. Boop it in the snoop. Boop it in the snoop. Roll animal handling. <laughs> Handled. I'll, I'll allow you to roll animal handling as one of your flurry of blows. <laughs> <laughs> what did you roll? Five. An eight. You what did you roll? Punch an you, punch. you punch it in the face. <laughs> one, two, three. Right, that'll oh, hit. That'll, they'll all hit. You're good. So roll me three damages. Let's see. And the damage for this will be okay. Uh. Three four plus not much. And after that, she is going to be get ready to parry. All right. And that will end. That's it. a bonus. That's the bonus action, right? No, that's not a bonus action. I checked. The, the flurry of blows was the bonus Flurry's action. Blow, flurry of blows was the bonus action. Agile uh, parry, I checked. Um, I don't think it's a bonus action. That, that's from the feet, right? That is no? not from the feet. Oh, okay. Never mind then. That's that's from the Kensei. Because you're a monk. Because hmm? I'm Cause a monk. monk. <laughs> you're a monk monk. Monk stuff. If if Arya ever does something that you question, that that that's the reason. It's because she's a monk. Monk's monk. 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 
All right. So that's your turn, right? Yeah. All right. So you just come up, fly, fly up, actually. Fly up, see this lion, and just start punching and clawing and kicking at it and all that? Mm-hmm. All right. You do your stuff, and it seems to still be up. Yeah, it, but it does seem a lot angrier now. All right, All right, so down. Now it is your turn. How do you react after this thing just clawed at you? After, you know, you came up to the street. Just saying. Well, uh, how up does it look? It seems pretty up. Like, pretty much the opposite of you is how it looks. <laughs> Get it? Nice. Uh-huh. Well, huh. It's so she up, it makes would... me look down. Uh, well, uh, speaking of things going down, she's going to, as, well, huh, let me check something real quick. Sorry to hold things up. Okay, this. Can I... Uh, is this... How big is it? Like, size-wise. Can I tell that? I mean, it's just taking up one square, so probably medium. It's a tree lion. It's a tree lion. Smaller than a normal lion. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's a cub. But no less vicious. (laughs) Twice as vicious. Super vicious. Ah, It's it's the vicious tree lion. Hmm. Oh... Okay, ten foot drop. Let me think. Well, suplex it. Say... <laughs> uh, th- that was my first thought. <laughs> Zuna drop. But uh. That needs to happen at some point in this campaign, and Down needs to be the one to do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, th- that's why I ask for all the grappling reasons. But uh, it- it's what I move, and the thing is, I don't know if I want to give it an attack of opportunity. To Probably fly. not. I mean, you can if you want. If you want. If you want to be if nice. If you want to be nice to your neighbor. Or, I mean, little Timmy, no, shh, don't. Shh. Okay. Well, from her position here, I think she's going to follow up with, uh, she's going to make a little comment to Arya, some, something you can say. Wow, you're quick. And uh, follow up uh, the three punches with two more of her own. Using our bonus action to oh uh, do I want to she should rage probably but there might be magic I could do here I'm gonna say she uses bonus action for two up and fighting with gauntlet all right so roll me some attacks will do oh. ouch uh, <laughs> are we doing any crypt confirm rolls or is that just me? Uh, what did I say, yeah. you Pathfinder pleb? <laughs> I missed. know. You just yeah. missed. Don't worry about okay. it. Anyway, that second, one, that second one hits. You're good with that second one. Okay. Then she'll take a swing and kind of a uh, bit caught off guard by the swipe. Uh, she's going to fail it and then land the other one right in its jaw. Probably. If that's okay. And deal a whopping five damage compared to her 17. Uh, it's perfectly fine, remember? I'm okay with you flavoring stuff. So yeah, you can say where you hit him, how you hit him, and all that. Alright, she kind of goes for the leg with a miss and then follows it up with a sort of half uppercut. To the jaw. Uh- to the jaw. To the jaw. But, Turns uh, out this lion does not have a glass jaw, because it only took five damage. Can you guys see the health bar I just gave it? Nope. No. No, I can't. I can only see my own health bar. Yep, only mine as well. I see my health and my temp HP. That's it. Speaking uh, of, I should give myself a status for Perry. <laughs> I gave myself a status for passenger on back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, well, so that's your turn down, right? Yep, that's what I do. Turn down for what? 
Uh, All right, so now it's this lion's turn. So after he tried to get you off of this tree, he found that another pigeon came up to his tree and tried to attack him and did really successfully. Uh, And then the first pigeon attacked him as well. He's not saying anything. This is all DM stuff. But, you know. This is what's going on in the lion's head. This is what's going on in the lion's head. This is the lion's perspective. Uh, these damn pigeons. Well, why are you so angry? So who the fuck is in my brain? <laughs> <laughs> it's just me, little Timmy. It's just me, little Timmy. No, little anyway. Timmy is a telepath. Extra, extra lion's angry. <laughs> extra, extra, the lion's angry. No, he'll, little Timmy will actually yell that. Extra, extra, the lion doesn't seem too happy. Uh, so this lion will, uh, seeing that these two giant birds are now in its territory uh it's actually going to try and attack both of you one one to each one of you so uh first the first one's coming for uh aria so this entire uh, tree is in my territory this is my tree i peed on it oh anyway <laughs> that makes it mine uh, i mean <laughs> yeah remember yeah. we're part cat too uh, we can, uh, we can take it back yep all right does the 20 hit you Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Beat me by two. You get four damage. Ooh, All right. Four Ouch. Damage. So down, down. Here comes yours. Here comes oh. the pain train. The uh-huh. rumble in the jungle, which is actually real because this kind of is a jungle. So rumble in the jungle. But the lion sleeps tonight in the jungle. <laughs> All right. So suddenly, little Timmy casts sleep. He's a wizard, Timmy. The Kaya cast sleep. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, so... Timmy cast uh, 15. Uh, 15 yeah, just... Yep. Just yep. barely. Hits yes. her. Okay. So, All right. Uh, I put my AC on the figure, if you can see that. All right, so you take six damage. Ouch. Okay. Oh, no. All right, so that is going to be its turn. It's going to stand its ground on this really thick two season okay branch and uh, try and you know keep you guys or actually smack you guys away from its tree. Alright, Glenn, you're up. Hey. Uh nice and simple. I take off, go ten feet in the air and shoot an arrow at it. Alright. Also okay, I can spice it up. I do a backflip too. Nice. <laughs> You you get extra speed. I'll say that. Extra speed for what? Your backflip. You impress the DM. There you go. Demon. Demon smiles on you. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, make me the attack roll. I shoot the arrow. Does a twenty-five hit? Yes, it does. All right. Throw me some damage on this thing. Where are you shooting it, by the way? Where am I shooting it? Yeah, where are you shooting it on the lion's purse? Cat. Um, on the lion's purse? In its c- body. There you go. Center of mass. Five damage. Center of mass? Center of mass. So, like, its torso? Yes. The largest area of its body. The easiest all target. Right. All right, all right. So, you, you, you fire this arrow with striking accuracy, and you get him, like, somewhere, like, right in the ribs, and he, he just, like, uh, yells out in uh, pain. He goes, Exactly like that. I'm I'm a voice acting god. Nice. I can make noises for anything. Anyway, so uh, that, will will that be your turn? Um. Yeah. I have no bonus actions to make. All right then, Sky. It is your turn. You see your friends, your teammates, going up and beating up this lion that just came out of this tree, and Glenn just shot it as well. Well, she's not about to try and climb that tree to get at it. <laughs> climb the tree! I want to see the cow climb. It's the only way. I mean, she might be able to, but she also has a passenger, so... Ah, uh, this is true. She's going to run up here, uh, get out one of her hammer weights, and chuck it at the lion's footing. Oh. Let's see, that's a... Okay. 17 to hit. 
All right, that'll hit. Uh, roll me some damage. Max damage. Oh. For a tiny hammer. Uh, threaten Whoa. it with tiny hammers. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> Very nice. Whoops. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, you, you deal nine damage. What when you were throwing it at its feet. Did I hear that? Hear, hear that right? Yeah. All right. So actually, with what you did aiming at its feet, you actually make it slip a bit on the branch. This thing actually falls prone. And I'm going to I don't remember if this does, if this works like this. This might have been a Pathfinder thing. I don't remember. It was like Pathfinder. I will wait. So I, it is. I, I think I know what you're getting at, but I think it's Pathfinder. Getting knocked prone, you get an attack, Rob. Yeah, Kimberly? I think that's Pathfinder. Okay, never mind. But just this I mean, one time, I'll say that you guys. So forget the rules for a bit. I'll say that uh, down and Ari, you get an attack, Rob. Kimberly. I mean, Foggy is kind well, of fast and loose. So it, is it still in the tree, or did it fall out? Yeah, I just kill it instantly. Still in the tree, but yeah. <laughs> Plus one D wow. six. So I was gonna say, if it falls out of the tree, technically it's leaving their uh, threatened area, so they can take no, a swing. <laughs> no, I was specifically gonna get knocked prone. That's why I was asking. But uh, yeah, I'll just yeah. say it for now. I don't. I've been loose with the rules a bit, so eh, prone, whatever. Prone uh, is very forgiving in fifth edition. Yeah, so I'm not gonna be forgiving. Yeah. So yeah. All right, so. Uh, six. Oh, Jesus. Wait, how'd you get two d twenty? You said prone. Yeah. Oh, right. oh yeah. It's advantage. It's advantage. Yeah, yeah. So down. Re re roll that. You know, you never know. Yeah. Crit. Anyway. Nine. So, yeah. Oh, so close. Uh, oh, so Arya, you did. Not really. <laughs> the that one. So that, and then that's your damage. Okay. Uh, so down, one, there you go. Max. He takes nine. All right. She kind of jumps up and bops him in the chest. That was his weak point. All right. So. Ah, okay. That was the uh, the extra damage from uh, the. All right. All right. So. With yeah, all of all of your attacks combined, I am Captain. Pl no, uh, <laughs> with all of your attacks combined, this lion is still up. Ah, it's up to little Timmy. It's up to little Timmy. Let's see. I don't think I have any clever bonus actions to do, so that'll end my turn. All right. Wait. Don't, yeah, hold on. Don't you still need to, don't you need to turn that on with the command word in SA? I said it worked exactly like a, a, okay, never mind. Disregard that one then as well. You don't need to know what that's about. <clears throat> don't, don't worry about it, as the DMs like to say in the biz. It's been We call forgotten. it the biz. We call it the biz. Anyway, it's still up. All right, so little Timmy's turn. By the way, my dog is in my lap now. So yeah. your dog can play little Timmy. Bark, bark. Sounds exactly. That like means him. extra, extra. <laughs> in canine. All right, so little Timmy is actually gonna roll up one of his uh, newspapers. <laughs> and uh, yell out, I'm helping mom! And uh, he's going to throw it at the lion, right, and aiming for its head. So I'll, I'll let you guys see a little Timmy's roll. Let's see how big of a paper cut it gets. <laughs> wow. Four lemon uh, that, that will hit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than I thought it would get for a newspaper. What is the damage of a newspaper? 1d20. <laughs> it's I mean, is it an improvised weapon, or is he proficient? Huh? I think max that's his damage. Max damage. I presume uh, it's his only proficiency. Or, 
He's proficient in his own newspapers, guys. He's he's in the biz. He's in the know. All right. So yeah. So he throws this newspaper as hard as he can, and you know, actually, you know, rolling up a newspaper, he ties it with a rubber band so that it doesn't, you know, uh, unroll. So yeah, I was, I was thinking about, about that. that as he threw it. It's like, <laughs> wait a minute, wouldn't it just unfurl <laughs> in the air? So yeah, I covered my tracks. As, as he, an effective he range band around me. He tied a rubber band around it and then threw it at the lion's face. Whereupon <laughs> it did make contact. So now this uh, this lion feels like this the smack from the newspaper just hit it, and it looks back down on the ground where it came from, you know, in its prone position. And uh, it de- it lets out a, just a very low growl kind of thing. Calm and down, and it's just looking right at Sky and uh, Little Timmy. <laughs> but uh, that'll be Little Timmy's turn as uh, he... Well, actually, he'll say, oh, It's looking at me, Mom! As he grips uh, Sky's fur a little tighter with his tiny arm. You maybe shouldn't have thrown a paper at it then. I was just trying to be like you, Mom! You throw a hammer at it! That's because I'm really good at throwing hammers at things. <laughs> and he's apparently not bad at throwing papers. Bad yeah. enough. I'm really good at throwing papers at houses, Mom! I've got really good accuracy! I <laughs> aim for the windows! I aim for the windows! For the walls! For the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the sweat shops do that most. But he also only moths. did one less damage than I did with an arrow. There were there were, more, there were moths in Tobo. Just saying, mm-hmm. <laughs> just to follow up with the joke. Anyway, so well, Micaiah, I need to go shopping. Micaiah's turn. Um, it's up to you, Micaiah. It's all up to you, Micaiah. Let's fly to the yeah. castle. Let's fly to the castle. So Micaiah, um, we'll just say uh, since I'm controlling her. I'll say that um, she moves up and casts Ray of Frost. Nice, basic, standard move. It seems like a safe decision. Although she probably doesn't have to get (laughs) it. That's Micaiah. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a good thing to uh, use it. Use up his spell slots, and then if if this goes on to next session, he's like, "Where's all my spells?" Yeah, that's why I'm trying to like keep with his cantrips or his other stuff. But uh, yeah, okay, so uh, he that'll hit. So Micaiah just uh, yeah uses her antlers to concentrate, and before everyone knows it, there's a uh, really cold ice beam uh, aimed right at this uh, this lion. Uh, I forget. I believe Ray of Frost is a D6, right? It's a D8. Um, D8, yes. And the target speed is reduced by 10 for a turn. All right. No, yeah, I made him his character sheet in a PDF form, the one that I always use. So don't worry about that. I already know. I already know all of his numbers, other than his level three stuff. For a whopping two damage. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do this real quick. All right, so. So before, all right, before you take your turn. So after this frigid beam of ice went in the dri- uh, went streaked towards the lion, you saw everyone could see that after all of this, t- all these attacks, it seems pretty roughed up. It, uh, I mean, you could see it if you know the freaking health bar showed up, but <laughs> I won't hold it against roll twenty. It's probably just some setting that I don't know. Yeah, the DM has to like toggle something. I don't know what it is. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. I'll maybe find it out later. Well, maybe I'll find it out later, but whatever. In any case, it would just add, you know, this little thing of you guys knowing when this thing will die. Anyway, um, so Arya, Midnight, or Arya, Midnight, both of yourselves. 
both Aria of them. down. Both of you can clearly see since you're the ones in front of it. Everybody else can see it, but not too well because they're a bit far away. But you two, you two specifically can see that this lion is really hurt. It's got an arrow in its side. Its face is all punched up and smacked and cut because you guys have been attacking it. It's got a, like one small bruise in its face from the newspaper. It's like a really tiny purple dot. It's like a love tap, love dot. Uh, and, you know, it's got like some, uh, some uh, snow around its, uh, its center of mass, its torso. Uh, it does not look good. It seems that it's very weak right now, and its growling is, has uh, slowed and has become like more of a rumble than anything. It's weak. Throw the Pokeball. <laughs> Quick, did anybody buy Pokeballs? I oh, forgot. Oh, you forgot to stock up. Man, it's just like finding a shiny and remembering you were, didn't buy the Pokeballs. <laughs> ah, this is just, this is just a plain old lion. lion. It's not yeah, a this shiny is just a lion. lion though. Anyway, so um, Arya, it is, uh, it is your turn now. Yeah, it's still prone. It hasn't gotten up yet. All right. All right, give me some damage. Uh, I said, okay. <laughs> that, uh, I forget, the, the activation is a bonus action, right? Okay, just checking. So, yeah, okay. Uh, so, Arya, you. How do you want to do this? Describe your finishing blow. I don't think you did. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh, my. Shit. All right. So you stab your... It's a rapier, right? All right. You stab your rapier right in the center of its forehead. The sword goes through its entire face and comes out the other end, slick with its blood. And brains. And brains, sure. What little it had. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> what little it had. And as you pull back out to retrieve your rapier, its body just goes limp on this, uh, this branch. And the body just proceeds to fall down as it wasn't exactly centered. It falls over and eventually hits the ground with a hard boom. 